Hey, for what it's worth, I think you did okay out there. You got some decent hang time, even uh, given you were wearing, what, 70, 80 pounds of chainmail? On the stark scale of reckless yet daring heroics, I give it a solid 6 out of 10. Don't worry, you'll get there, with a little help. And where exactly am I going? Oh, that's the real question, isn't it? Sky's the limit for you, my friend. <laughs> Unless you'd be up for wearing a space helmet. You do breathe air, don't you? You know what? It doesn't matter. I, I couldn't help but overhear Auntie Caretaker over there telling you to get some rest. That uh, sounds like a good idea to me. I suppose I could keep you company on the way, seeing as our rooms are in the same direction and all. Besides, no one should be forced to walk the hallways around here alone. So, here we are. The old room, huh? It's, uh, it's not bad. Functional. Solid construction. Almost cozy. Love the antique furnishings from the early Mephisto collection. Full transparency, Hunter. There's another reason I asked to join you here, other than my abject terror of this entire facility. Stopped here before, while you were out. Wanted to surprise you with a nice little housewarming present. Was all set to write you a lovely welcome note, but I'm fairly certain that wasn't red ink in your quill. But I do not have a quill. Even better. <laughs> Relax, Tony. I simply jest. It is an ink derived of the spider lily flower. Red spider lily flowers. Of course it was. Obviously. With just a touch of Manphibian blood for power. Haha! -ha! Another zinger. And we'll just leave it at that. Well, I suppose I should leave before whatever monstrosity that is most definitely hiding under your bed jumps out, rips my face off, and then proceeds to feast on my soul. I'll leave you to it. May your sleep be filled with pleasant dreams, Tony. Right back at you. Oh, and if you hear the shrieking of a grown man, please ignore it. It's just me, walking to my room. <laughs> <laughs>